This is, this is Dr. Stephen Myers. I'm here at Fresh Start Bariatrics uh, at Riverside Hospital in um, uh, Columbus, Ohio. And I have Martha Pettit with us. And Martha has an interesting story, and I'd like for her to share this with you. Um, Martha, you uh, had told me a few moments ago that before your operation, I had suggested that, that you have a vena cava filter to protect you from having blood clots that could go to your heart and lungs. Mm -hmm. And you had enough risk factors that I was concerned about that. So first of all, what was your feeling when I brought that up and we talked about it before your operation? Um, the thing with the vena cava filter, it just seemed um, invasive. I just wasn't real crazy about having it put in. And it, it made me feel uncomfortable. And mm -hmm. I had mentioned it to a few people that it was not something I was really crazy about having done. Mm -hmm. um, but you didn't really give me much of an option there. That well, that's true. We have a scoring system that tells us whether you're at high risk mm -hmm. and then make a recommendation to you to have that. Mm -hmm. You don't have to take our recommendation, but that means we don't have to do the operation either if we think it's too risky. So yeah, we choose uh, to have our patients protected in many ways from blood clots. That includes blood thinners, early ambulation, cuffs on your legs and everything. And if you're at a particular high risk, uh, we suggest that you have a vena cava filter placed. And that's kind of like having a um, short-term catcher's mitt into the blood vessel that returns blood from the lower part of your body back up to your heart so that if you did develop a blood clot, that it would just go to that filter or that catcher's mitt and would not get to the heart and lungs. Mm -hmm. So um, despite the fact that you weren't crazy about that, you were willing to undergo that, Tell us a little bit about that procedure itself. How, how bothersome was it to it you? It wasn't bad at all. I was um, anxious about it, but they were great at um, the, the cardiac unit over there. They put it in. It was quick and easy and pretty much painless. Mm -hmm. um, they treat, treated me very well over there. Okay. Um, yeah, usually it's put in in our practice by a uh, cardiologist. It only takes them maybe 15 minutes or mm -hmm. so, and it's usually a relatively painless process. And you had it done how long before your operation? The day before. Just the day before. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and then uh, now how do you feel, how you do you feel about having a, a vena cable filter in place? It saved my life. And two weeks out, two weeks after surgery, almost to the day, I had some, started to have some groin pain and some leg pain. And uh, within two hours I was pretty immobile and in a lot of pain. And after a call to you and you said to get down here, uh, we went to Riverside and uh, turns out I was I had deep vein thrombosis from my groin down to my knee, where mm -hmm. that vein was pretty bad. Mm -hmm. And uh, without that vena cava filter, I probably wouldn't be here today. So you feel a little differently about having that I procedure before. Advocate. Yeah, I well, am an well, not everyone needs to have that done. But if you were a high risk person, we s certainly suggest you have that done. And what? What did they do to relieve the blood clot that had developed in your leg? Um, they went in, um, I was admitted to Riverside, and they went in through my neck and um, did a thrombectomy, I think is what the term is. They went down through my neck and went in and cleaned out the vein mm -hmm. and um, through medicines, and now I'm on um, a blood thinner mm -hmm. for a while. And, and uh, it took a couple times, but they finally got me cleaned up, and I'm good now. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's no fun being in the hospital that for that trip. at all. I understand. But it's better than well, being dead. Yeah, that's for sure. So <laughs> the important thing is that uh, you were protected even during that whole process mm -hmm. so that the blood clot could not get to your heart and lungs, mm -hmm. and uh, you were able to get that taken care of. So I'm delighted you're here also, and I hope that this is a real encouragement to, the, to people that are considering whether they should have a vena cava filter or not. And uh, I'd uh, be happy to have them view your, anyone that, that suggests that maybe they don't want to have that done, mm -hmm. certainly have them go to the YouTube site and, and uh, listen yeah, to this. So. Definitely. Thank you for sharing with us. My I really pleasure. appreciate it, Martha.